Faites-moi le plaisir d'oublier votre femme. Vous devez penser à la France. Je suis persuadé que le général Chaumier m'approuve. Ce que je n'approuve pas ce matin, du coup, c'est votre tenue. Donnez-moi une dernière chance de sauver ma femme. Vous nous faites perdre du temps. Nous devons attaquer maintenant. Madame du Breton est une femme charmante. Je crois que nous allons donner un peu de temps au colonel pour qu'il puisse la monnayer. Oui, en général, c'est inutile. Cette femme est perdue. Dommage que ce ne soit pas la mienne. Au revoir, du Breton. The English major reads Voltaire, madame. Yes. He's very clever. See how he buries his wife on the hills, Duco? He's telling us he'll be buried beside her rather than give up the position. He is bluffing. He has no more than a hundred men, General. Beg pardon, General, but he has horse, foot, and artillery. He said so. Didn't he, dear? He said so. Certainly. He lies. I saw no cavalry or artillery. He is bluffing. And so are we, Duco. This is merely a reconnaissance force. I have infantry, but no cavalry or artillery. My orders tell me I must retire if I meet serious resistance. My orders from Paris are to press the British before the new year. I say attack now, sir. Major Ducot, I am willing to attack on your assurance the English have neither cavalry or artillery. But I want it in writing. Of course, General. I take full responsibility. And of course, I also take credit for its success. When we advance in line, each pea is apart, and it is very hard to pick up one pea with a fork. But to eat the peas, we move them together, like so. And then, we pick them all up. And how would Major Sharp go about moving all your peas together? Cavalry. But Ducot says he has no cavalry. Maybe you have misunderstood, my dear lady. Cavalry!